Hi, it's Ronnie, and welcome to Christy's Beautiful Life, 30 Days of Sketches, Round 9. And if you'd like to post your take on today's sketch, use hashtag 30DSCBL9 on Instagram, or post it in the Facebook group. And this is a sketch that we have today, super cute, and it's by Isabel Alvarado. However, <laughs> I might go a little bit rogue on it. Just warning y'all. I'm going to scrap these pictures of Hope when she was tiny. She's spending the weekend with me, and this is a little swing, and she was playing in it and grabbing at the little toy hanging there, and I'd taken a video and sent it to her dad. <laughs> and so, of course, I had to screenshot it. I know I complain about them sending me videos all the time, but yeah, I had to screenshot it to make this scrapbook layout. I'm using this die, and it's, I don't even remember where I got it. I've had it for a, a really long time. And it's just one die, so you have to cut it out several times. Well, not the whole thing. I'm just, I just took little pieces of paper and cut out the other little parts. So now I'm layering them and putting them together. And I'm going to forget to do the hat on the little moon guy. But I'll remember it when I see it laying in the tray. So it will look like I completely forgot it, and his hat is yellow, like he is. And he also has little tiny holes, and I didn't punch them all out. I left some of them to give it a little bit of variety. And that one thing that I put on there just now, the little square-looking thing, I have no clue what that is. I have looked at it, I don't know how many times, no clue. But I left it in the die and inked it just to show the parts that are supposed to be inked. You know, in case y'all want to look at it and figure out what it is, because I still can't. Unless it's just some little box of some sort that they run out of ideas of what to hang on the carousel. I don't know. But uh, I went ahead and inked it anyway. I cut out parts of the rattle and the pacifier also so they'd be two-toned and have two colors and you can see where I got that moon over there in the tray I will see it soon too but uh, the bottle it is I, I do know what the bottle the bib and the word sweet is and it's Echo Park and I am putting it together and it has like the ring and the nipple separate so I put a little scrap there just to help hold them together. And then I'm going to take, I had the duck cut out in two colors because I couldn't make up my mind which one I wanted to put up there on the carousel. So I took the extra one to put on the bottle just to give it a little more decoration. And here's where I noticed the moon and I am going to layer it. And you can see that little teeny tiny pink scrap over there. I had cut it to make it like uh, a rim around the hat. This is the bib by Echo Park, and I got to looking at it and thinking, oh, I could do a teddy bear or something and put it on it. So that's what I'm working on right now. I'm gonna do the bib first and then the teddy bear. So I'm putting the yellow behind the star just to have, so the belly of the teddy bear won't show. And then it's got two little holes and I'm putting some twine through there. I will forget to go ahead and trim it again when I put the bear together, but I'll see it when I do the photos and fix it. We'll do a couple of more things while I'm doing the photos too. So the end layout is gonna be a little bit different from the one when I finished the layout on the video. The these two pieces I used the Creative Memories oval cutters and this one I cut I think it was right about halfway and I'm making arms out of it and I used the same oval and the same cutter to go around it so it'd be close to the same size as this and we'll put my bib on there and then have the arms coming around the paper I'm using is basil and it's got like little polka dots in it. And I thought that would be cute for the teddy bear instead of having it just plain textured cardstock. I thought, well, those polka dots will look cute. I've had it for a long time 
and haven't used it really for anything. And I uh, that, that teddy bear will work. And it's kind of a pink, but then it's almost got a lavender tint to it, but not quite. I used the boy layout for my, the boy collection from Echo Park for my layout. So that's why I'm having those, that teal there. So then they go more with the collection that I'm going to be using. And this went pretty good with it too. I mean, it, there's no colors in there of this, but it was more mellow and pastel. And the ink I'm using is Close to My Heart Parchment. And it's probably discontinued. I know that I've got the old, old Close to My Heart ink. So they probably all are that I have. And the head is a two inch circle punch. It's a punch. And this is that small oval. I couldn't get a punch that was the right size for the two inch head. And the two inch head seemed to fit the body better. So I used the small oval and used, well, I think I used the red one on one of the punch, uh, the one of the ovals and then the blue one on the other. And I thought about using a heart for the nose since this is a girl's layout. But I'm going to have hearts in a couple other places, so I decided not to. There is, there is one on the carousel even, only it don't look like a heart. It kind of almost looks like a spade. So I cut it into a heart when I put it on there. The eyes are going to be brown with uh, black pupils, and the pupils are going to be big. <laughs> and it, I believe it's the 3 8 inch circle, and then the pupils are one Quarter. And then the ears are three quarters inch for the outside and one half inch for the inside. But while I'm doing them, I want to mention that down there below, you'll find the links to everybody that's doing the Christie's Beautiful Life 30 Days of Sketches. Lots of inspiration. And also the link for the Facebook group. So be sure to check that out because there's way more in there. How many different ways a sketch can be interpreted and today how you can go rogue. Mostly I've been sticking pretty close. Mostly, mostly. But today I kind of went a little rogue. I put a bow up on the ear just to show it's a girl <laughs> teddy bear. And when I cut I'm back to take the photos, I oh, I'm doing the math now. I did a half a circle and then I just did a sliver pass there. And I'm inking it because it is white core and I ink the nose also. And I'm just going to kind of put it a little bit wonky on the teddy bear. Instead of putting it straight on, I'm going to put it to the side just a little bit. And I'm highlighting it now. And I'm, you can have the light coming from any direction straight down and have more highlights. Or from the side. And I thought I'd have the lights coming from the side. And generally, I have them coming from the left. I don't know why. I think it's just habit. And so I'm po mostly putting them on the left. And on the mouth, I just put it on where the, I thought the tongue would be. Peace and got them ready. And that scallop uh, piece is, is um, it's a Sizzix die called, I think, just scallops. And there's two on the strip. It's those Sizzlet strips. But I did them ahead of time and got them ready because I did not know how long my punched art and paper piecing would take. And they didn't take very long at all, really. So I could have went ahead and just done them while I was doing the layout. I'm going to quickly change my mind on where I want the scallops on here. And uh, mostly because I knew I wanted the carousel coming down. And I thought it'd look cute coming out from underneath the scallop. And then at the bottom, I knew I wanted the bear. And so I wanted the bear coming out from the scallops. Now, I originally planned on really following close to the sketch. However, <laughs> instead of flowers, because I've done flowers several times on light, uh, layouts lately, I thought I'd do baby things instead and do these photos of hope which i planned on doing for a while ever since i screenshot them and i just couldn't figure out how to do it even if i made my bear smaller it was going to look kind of funny if i use that carousel 
I just couldn't figure out where to put it. And so I thought, well, I'm just going to have to move everything around and do it differently. And I thought, I can make my bear bigger. So that's what I'm doing. And the carousel's just going to, like I said, hang up there like it's coming out from the scallops. And my title's going to go here, and it's um, Diamond Press. And it is the spooky one. So it's the Halloween one, but I don't think it looks that spooky. I think it looks kind of quirky and fairy tale ish <laughs> So I am using it on here, and it says Playtime. However, when I go back to take the photos, I'm looking at it and thinking, boy, I really like longer titles. I wish I'd made it longer. And I'd already put my CD card in the laptop and gone and got groceries, came back, put them all up and everything, and went to take the photos. And I thought, do I really want to go get the SD card out of the computer? And I finally decided I'd just go ahead and add to the title. And I'm going to end up adding to the bear also. And of course, trimming that twine down just a little bit. So my title's going to end up being having fun at playtime instead of just playtime. And this is where I finally decided I wanted my carousel uh, in the original thought. <laughs> it was right above the 4x6 photo, which was definitely not working out. And then I tried to put it on the right. Well, there was nothing to balance it out on the left because, you know, the whole layout's balanced. And I thought, if I'm going to use that thing... And I'd already had everything cut out by then. I thought, I'm going to have to do something different. So that's why I went a little more rogue. And I'm adding some enamel dots. And you seen me lift my layup there. I lost one. I did not find it till I started editing the video. So I wore it under my wrist for three hours, maybe. It's, it was a while. And I just happened to feel something there and noticed it. But, uh, yeah, that's sort of it. My layout, that is. I am sort of done. But as you will see in the photos, not so much. But there's my title with the extra words. And they're uh, quick cuts called Phoebe. And it's cute little tiny font. And on the bear, I, yeah, there it is. It's, it, I, I could have waited and said that when it was actually showing up, huh? But the bear, I added some feet, and I used a one-inch punch, half-inch punch, and quarter-inch punch for the feet. And I guess I was more heavy-handed when I came back, because her feet are darker than the rest of her. So she's been outside playing and got her feet a little bit dirty. And there's the finished carousel and the cute little man and the moon or the moon <laughs> but uh yeah if you look if you leave a comment down there below i'll try to get back with you and if you like the video and hit a thumbs up i'd appreciate it if you are not subscribed to my channel i would love to have you subscribe and those of you already are thank you so much but see how the feet are darker <laughs> i might have to go back and ink the rest of her to match uh, but I must have been a, just a little bit more heavy-handed when I did it. But um, have a happy, scrappy week. Have fun on the hop. Bye.